got no problems, we gon' make a way Got no coach on the field, but we making plays Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay we so now we can start getting to some of these smaller games real quick. And let's start off with one of our local teams here, Marley. Uh, we're talking about the Houston Cougars taking on the UT, UTSA Roadrunners. Uh, oh, excuse me, man. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let's get to these facts here. This game is going down in the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, 3.30 Eastern Standard kickoff time. Uh, this lot. Line open up in favor of U of H minus six and a half. A lot of money's came in on UTSA. It's now sitting at four and a half. Um, and the total right now, because we didn't do all our lines, because we knew they were going to change when they first opened up. But the total right now is at 56 and a half. Right now, that line's sitting at 62. Uh, as a consensus at most, at most uh, books right now. So go ahead and fix that. And get it at 62 real quick. Bam, bam. Let's get to these uh, actual factuals real quick for the Cougars. The Cougars are 12-1 straight up in the last 13 games, 6-1 straight up in the last 7 games on the road. Again, these are last year's stats. 7-1 straight up in the last 8 games against a conference opponent, conference USA opponent. The Overs hit 4 out of the last 6 games played in the month of September. They are also The Overs also hit 8 out of the last 12 games on playing in week 1. And they're 2-7. and seven. Two and five against the spread in that seven games when playing on a Saturday. As far as UTSA goes, they're one and four against the spread in the last five games. The overs hit six out of the last seven. They are 12 and two straight up in the last 14 games. That was last season. 10 and 0 straight up in the last 10 games at the crib. Seven and 0 straight up in the last seven games when playing in the month of September. Six and two against the spread in the last eight games in week one. Um, and the unders also hit six out of the last seven games when playing at the crib on a Saturday. So there are no injury reports for the Cougars. The Anthony Lewis running back for UTSA, he is out for uh, the season with undisclosed issues. So with that being said, I'm going to stay right here in Texas. Marley, do you have a play for this one, my G? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, yes, I do. Uh, and I got, you know, I'm probably sound like a bit of a homer here, but, um, and don't get it twisted. Like, you know, coach, like I made a lot of money off UTSA the last two years, not just last year. Uh, with that UTSA is going to get too much love because of last year, they would not be as good. I'm out there. I'm reading comments. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're um, good. I don't know if they'll be as good. I still expect them to be good though. Um, at least I keep an eye on them. They do have, I mean, at least. I still expect the offense to be good. You're still bringing back Frank Harris. You're bringing back eight on offense. All your skill guys, with the exception of your running back, which this was mainly an air attack, all your linemen, with the exception of your left tackle, and you're still bringing back five on defense, which, you know, the defense was really um, – I mean, they did, they, they were decent. They were third – they were ranked third in Conference USA, second against the run, but, they, you know, they were, they were terrible against the pass. They were ninth against the pass, giving up – 250 yards a game, but you got super senior quarterback Clayton Toon coming mm -hmm. back for U of H. And I think personally, um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm probably gonna sound like a homer here. It's a lot of kids from Houston, it's a lot of kids. I know both of these are some Texas teams, but I'm high on U of H to uh win their conference. Uh, I can't remember if I picked them to win it this year or I picked, I think I. Ah, because I don't think I went with Cincinnati. I can't remember, but they're one and two in their conference. Um, you know, they went eight and zero last year, twelve and two. They're still returning six on uh, the offense. The thing that hurt was McCaskill um, being injured, fucking up his knee. I think he fucked up. But you get the USC transfer. Um, what's buddy name? Uh, Joseph McJack, uh, Manjack uh, from USC to replace him. So I think they'll be fine. You still bring back Keyshawn Carter, a receiver. Um, and you still you kind of you got to replace the offensive line. You bring back six on defense. I just think U of H is really the more talented team here, top to bottom at the end of the day. I'm on the Cougs minus four. I would lean over at the score at the total because this probably could be a high scoring game. Both of these teams could easily get in the 30s. Um, but I just think it's gonna be too much offense. On U of Asia side, they're not going to be able to keep up. This team averaged 35, uh, 35 points a game last year and over 250 yards passing. And 
UTSA was awful just the past last year. So, uh, give me the Cougs and don't underestimate the Cougs defense. They was one, two, and three in every defense uh, statistical category last year. So, I like the Cougs. Um, obviously, uh, you know I'm from Houston, so whatever. All right, flat top. What's your play? Do you have a play for this one? I do. I'm going to take the one that Mar- Marley's uh, leading. I like the over. Um, UTSA, they're, I think they're turning five, but they lost someone pretty much on every level of their defense, and they were not super good against the pass. You got that tune throwing or slinging it for Houston. Um, I think it is going to be a high-scoring game. Um, I, I think Houston will win it. But UTSA, um, offensively, I just don't think they'll be able to keep up. But both teams could go over 30. Um, but my official play is going to be over that 62. I feel pretty confident on that. So official play over on this one. Jay Money. Lights it up. All right. All right. DJ, do you have a play on this one? No, I don't have a play on this one, man. I just uh, add the note. I like Houston way better than like San Antonio. <laughs> hey, I don't, don't sleep on San Antonio, though. But I do agree with. I'm talking, no, about, the talking about the city. I'm talking, talking about the city, the, city, the exactly food, the talking women. About. I'm talking about all that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, all that, that better, even, way that better, even, Houston. bro. That yeah. don't even compare, bro. If we talking about yeah. Texas, it's Dallas and Houston. That's hey, it. Uh, but that's uh, UTSA, you know, I, I hate to. Uh, Crush my boy Jose, say hey Jose, little thing he was on, but they were just on the lucky run, man. Almost similar last year to a Cinderella team because they could have lost quite a few of those games. They had some miraculous comebacks in a couple right. of them. So I don't know how long this UTSA train is gonna roll, but Houston is the more solid of the two, especially like you said on defense. Houston always has some tough defense. I think Houston problem was when uh, what's his name, Derek King. Them yeah. that year he came yeah, and played yeah. a couple Black, game yeah. and, and, and then Fucked ducked out for the rest of the season, saved his eligibility because he already made a backdoor deal with Miami to go over there. Then he goes over there, injury prone, weak, and everything. And uh Houston, they they uh they had all their money set on that dude, and they stumbled a little bit for the last what two years without him. But I think I hope they picked up the pieces. Well, no, I mean, I mean, I think Shit, they, they, they had a good play. season last yeah, year. Man. They, they, they did. Man. I'm just saying. No, I'm talking about offensively, though. I'm just talking about on the offensive side of the ball. Shit, they the defense number, is tight. They was number three in scoring. It's in your I mean, backyard, of course. All right, you sound like these SC fans coming at me right now. <laughs> yeah, I leave. It's the closest team to you. Okay, you see them. Jeez, I'm telling you over here, guys. <laughs> no, I, I you not like they won something, but they are good. I respect them. I like them. I want them to get their quarterback thing as high at a level as it was when they had Derek King set up to play that year, and he punked out on them. Yeah, I think they was hey. hurt a little bit. I agree. Hey, it was a lot of it was a lot of stuff going on there. Shout out to Dead King, the little homie. What's up, Jay Money? What you know about football, man? Where you start getting oh, man, football, my boy Jay, get out, man. man. Jay, Jay, go in for He said he I'm said he like liked like that phone. Yeah, I see Jay Money. That's what I said. So he said he liked that phone. That's all I know. Yeah, ride with him, baby. Cool. That's how they throw it up? All I know is H time. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's, all right, that's how they do it. All right, I'm riding. I'm 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 riding with I'm riding with these Cougars. I might even go to this game, man. To be honest, I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go. I kind of need to go to this game. Uh, I'm but I'm on the Cougs, man. Yeah, those games this year, bro. We need to make that happen. I'm on the Cougs, man. I, I get it. UTSA got eight returners on offense, five on defense, but Coon to tune. Tune, this is his offense, man. This is all he knows. You know what right. I'm saying? Uh, I don't need to go into it. Everybody gave it. I gave out the actual factuals. Barney gave out the statistics. Uh, our boy, um, what's his name? The head coach. Yeah, I can't think of it off the head, but from West Virginia. This, this, he's now he now has all of his recruits now. This is all his guys. So we're gonna see what he can do. But I'm all over, I'm all over U of H right here on the money. On the min- minus the four, uh, definitely wouldn't do them on the first half bet, but yeah, that's my play. Hey, we appreciate well, everybody tuning in. My bad, my Hogan. mom went, uh, my mom went blank for a second. What Dan is Hogan. it, Hogan? Hogan, Hogan yeah, Dan, yeah, 
I was like, I said homegrown. I'm, I'm definitely thinking. But, man, hey, we appreciate everybody tuning in. I'm the coach. This is Marley Bits. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday night for our college football play games, uh, our college football show, excuse me, and we will cut up these shows for you guys to look for them specifically. And starting next week, our live NFL shows, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on Wednesdays. Uh, that will be going down as well. Uh, 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 check it out. Uh, look, we from the bottom. Ain't no problems. We gon' make a way. Got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry. We gon' be okay. Hey. Look why, cause we gon' make them pay 